morning everybody it's Marco here from the trading institutional order flow thread on Forex factory today is the 12th of September 2017 today I thought I would look at weekly charts looking at a, a longer term perspective just looking at zones of interest um, but before we go into that I'm going to start off with answering um, true to life's question on the thread um, as well as GJK's um, taking a look at his charts as well so thank you guys for posting that um, and the other thing I wanted to announce really quickly is apologies. Um, I'm I'm having to change the schedule of the webinar. We were due to meet on the 16th, which is this Saturday at 8:30, but due to circumstances beyond my control, I've had to move them, move the schedule to the 23rd. So the the webinar will no longer be on the 16th. So it is no longer this Saturday. It'll be the 23rd of September, which is. Um, next week Saturday so I'm really sorry for if, if that causes a, a, a you know mismatch with your schedules it's it's just something I, I can't really um, do much much about and I'll explain it to you when you come to the webinar but that's that's the change that I wanted to announce so the webinar is the 23rd of September at 8 30 p.m. thank you to all of you who sent in your emails um, I will be putting them um, on the list in, even if you haven't heard from him from me I have got them um, and I will I will be sending you out the links okay so let's start off really quickly with the question from true to life you didn't put your viewpoint on this true to life what the trend was at this point um, and what you think is the is the new curve it'd be it a bit interesting to see what you were thinking as well but no matter we will go straight into it so this is the US dollar Japanese yen and yes this is this is the new curve this is the, the current curve I should say um, and in terms of what the trend was as of this point we have um, you know defined rules about what trend is um, slightly different to not too different but slightly different to the conventional um, discussions around trend um, I mean you can use a combination of both it doesn't really matter but as of this point no supply zones have been removed so the trend remains down what we were having was demand zones being removed if anything so as of the point where this happened demand zones were being removed that one was the one that was holding prices up um, which has eventually gone been blown through now but this was the supply zone that it had to break and it, it didn't manage that so there was no change in trend whatsoever all you had was a rally into supply in the context of a downtrend and you've had a further push down now you're beginning to see a change where supply is being removed um, so the next supply is above there so at the moment the trend is sideways um, and there are reasons for that there are rules for that as to the number of um, supply zones removed is just one not two which is one of the rules of a supply zone when you read the thread you'll see it's it's all documented in there and in the videos as well Okay, so I hope that helps true to life. Let's go to JGK. Welcome back, JGK. I hope you're well. Um, just a couple of comments on, on the pound chart you posted. Accurate supply zone, demand zone. Put it at the bottom of the wick. Extend it lower, please. And then for the trend line, it's fortunate that you have three points that we're able to join here, but you know we use two most recent pivot lows when we're looking at momentum so that low and the low there would have been enough as well and it, it would still be um, the end of Momo and also we already removed demand anyway with that zone so double trouble for for buying up in here we definitely don't want to be buying in here we know we don't know rather what will happen in here but we know we don't want to buy okay so thank you for posting that guys much appreciated so let's get quickly to the weekly charts and we will go from there so the weekly chart for the US dollar Japanese yen um, looking for weekly levels so up in there would be the one and that one is really 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 big that one is not so fresh but it's where the origin of the move came out of so I would leave that on my chart um, let's go on to the US dollar CAD what have we got the US dollar CAD where are we at so we are sitting 
at demand right now fresh supply is not until there that was supply I think but prices have already come back and tested it so again leaving that area on your chart um, to see what happens there is not is not a bad idea let's take a look at the euro the euro keeps on heading up so euro weekly we have supply supply and it's very dangerous up in here there isn't that much quality up in here it's grinding higher and making its way higher and we have those levels there there are other levels but those are the ones that are in play for now let's take a look at another one another euro pair euro CAD for example we got demand there supply has been hit so looking at fresh supply would be up there so let's take a look boom so that's what we've got the pound pound cad Oof. nothing exciting have we hit this level have we hit this level already oh yeah we've even gone through it so nothing there until I suppose lower down in there um, so that's that's the demand below we may be forming some supply there but for now the fresh supply is looking at that area right there um, pound New Zealand pound New Zealand we are sitting in weekly supply right now and we've got some buyers so it's very tight we've got some buyers in there okay um, taking a look at the Aussie US dollar another market that just keeps on going we are sitting in huge ginormous supply we've got demand there and that's what's in play at the moment for the Aussie take a look at the Aussie yen Aussie yen has demand down in here um, and for supply we go up into that level CAD yen CAD yen, ooh, that's not quality at all um, so looking at that we may be forming something right there but for now we have that okay um, let's take a look at oil quickly before we finish and gold we'll take a look at oil oof we're stuck in between there and there for fresh levels outside of that range we've got that one and that one so so it's kind of going nowhere really fast on that one <laughs> Um, gold, gold is looking good. Um, looking good on gold, and as we we know, there isn't anything above us, nothing above us until we get here. So gold still has some ways to to go, it seems. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video there. That's just a brief overview for you. Um, thank you again to all of you for sharing the videos, for spreading the word. Um, and and you know trying to make a positive change in your lives um, with with the knowledge that you have thank you all for the comments <laughs> for the good ones and the bad ones um, and and to all of you who continue to post on the thread and sharing your ideas thank you very much so remember guys it's the 23rd now of September not the 16th thank you all very much I will see you soon Take care. Bye for now.